Next on Track Talk, we're going to be talking Kings Speedway in Hanford, California. Colorado Speedway is what it's been known the last few years. Peter Murphy, the promoter there, tells us about the upcoming schedule, some of the changes, why the name changed back to Kings, a long time name that it went by, and other things going on in 2023. That's next. Hello. I'm Ben Dethridge, and I'm the host of Getting Up to Speed. We talk to sprint car drivers from the Pacific Coast, whether they race in Oregon, Washington, California. If they run it, we're going to talk about it. Also branch out a little bit, as well as drivers that perhaps are from here that race elsewhere, or some drivers that come in and try and take some money from the West Coast. In these episodes, we talk about past experience, past seasons, as well as upcoming races, as well as how's the season going. We hope you enjoy these episodes. Be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. It really helps us out. And stay tuned for more and more content. Now let's get in the interview. Well, on the phone with me right now, it is the promoter of King's Speedway, presented by Keller Motors, Peter Murphy. And Peter... You're a difficult guy to track down, but you're a busy guy, a passionate guy about racing. So glad that you've uh, scheduled some time here to talk with us about all the great things happening in Hanford in 2023. Yeah, no worries, mate. Yeah, it's got, got a lot to do here, but um, lots to do at both places that I'm part of, so uh, I just got to keep on moving. Yeah, and he's referring to Skagit Speedway up in Alger, Washington on the – way up north so he's he's got the west coast covered uh 2023 looks like a pretty solid schedule and i guess starting things off what's really cool is king speedway going back to being called king speedway yeah um i think most people know it as king speedway and they've done it for a long time um what it was called when we when we uh took the place over is what we sort of just rolled with but um we've also got a new um uh, management system here at the fairgrounds and, and they would prefer us if, you know, if we could go back to that name and, and so we have and um, with Keller's um, permission obviously as well, um, but they're still one of our big sponsors here um, but just it is called King Speedway and now it's powered by Keller Motors so it's um, it's, a, it's definitely a, a win-win for us so I think just because like I said most people seem to know it as King Speedway anyway so it just seems to work out right Yeah, and they'll be Handing out the hat, still the crowns, the and look very, uh, very regal. Yeah, no, um, you know, that's just a someone come up with that idea because of, you know, we are Kings Speedway, we're Kings County, um, all that kind of stuff. So we just sort of use it a little bit to to go down there. Sometimes it might seem a little corny, maybe I don't know, but it just seems to fitting for this place. So just um, trying to, you know, make it just a little bit different. A lot of sprint car races on the schedule and. Tentatively, the first one is going to be March 11th, the Dave Helm Memorial. It'll be um, a, a sprint car race with a unique format, but uh, crossing fingers, toes, and everything that you can cross, that uh, that's going to kick off. Yeah, uh, we're hopeful, very hopeful. Um, this week here, we I think we had a we were going to have practice this weekend, but um, we've had so much rain here. Um, we've had more rain here, uh, recorded levels. Then the, the last time it was it rained this much was a hundred years ago. So um, we've had a, quite a bit of rain here, and it, it, unfortunately in California, um, as much as California needs the rain, there's no provisions to to catch it, if you know what I mean, and store it. Like they, 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 so, when it gets here, it just sits, and then you know it's a matter of trying to you know we're trying to pump out the middle of the track right now, but where do we pump it to? Because everything else is just there's water just sitting everywhere. Sure. Um, but obviously, um, the track's been packed in pretty hard. It is a little soft today, but I think we could actually, you know, get cars on it for Saturday if it stayed like the, the way it is today. But um, the, the track isn't our problem at this point. It is the infield is full of water. We could go boat racing um, to get off the track if you're on, in a car. You couldn't get off the track because of the water surrounding the, the outside edge of the track. And then the, the pit area is just, um, it's a lake in there too. So, you know, even if we could get the cars on the track, it's hard to put the trucks in and um, it would only, either A, they would get stuck or create such a mess that, you know, no one would be happy. And so we had to call it off for this weekend and then, you know, we're, we're looking forward to hopefully for the 11th, but um, we've already got the weather predictions that it's going to rain even more this weekend. So uh, if it does that again, we'll be in trouble for the following weekend again. So it's just... um. Mother Nature's, you know, having a go, and, and she's not very happy with somebody. So, um, 
Um, but it's not just us that has to keep cancelling. Um, you know, I, I think Tico has for this weekend. Um, you know, the two little tracks around here, Watsonville, they're all they're all struggling to to dry out. If you know what I mean. So um, yeah, unfortunately, it is just part of life at this point. Well, and definitely a deal where keep an eye on the website as well as the social media pages for uh, weather updates yeah. for that event. Yeah, no, no doubt. Um, you know, we were going to try and have a, a different format for the first race, and it, it's just a, you know, just try it and see. Just trying to create a little, little bit more of an interest. Um, you know, we we we've we've got to do things differently. I think otherwise, our um, our sport is. This is only my opinion. No one else's, maybe. I don't know, but I do believe on the west coast, our sport has been struggling at you know, the last five to, you know, six years or whatever. Um, and we have to come up with some new ideas to try and recreate it um, and, and not, not so much recreate it, but just, just enhance it and make it, you know, to where people want to come and see what we've got going on again. We, we, we need new people to, to like our sport and um, it's just a matter of trying to make that happen. Um, again, at this place here at the fairgrounds, we are, you know, we're only allowed so many dates. And, and they're the dates that we're allowed and we're and there we got more this year than what we had last year and it's it's going in the right direction like I said the new management um, running the the fairgrounds um, they are really good people and and everything they're doing is trying to improve the facility um, enormously so um, you know hats off to them having a go but you know then maybe next year we'll get more so we'll Absolutely. see and closing out the month of March, it'll be a Friday night, March 24th, USAC CRA, wingless 410 is going to be in attendance, and also wing sprint cars. That should be a great night for sprint car fans in general. Yeah, it should be. Um, it's going to be a pretty, pretty big week that week um, with the high limits race at Tulare on, on, the, on the Tuesday night. Um, then, you know, we've got uh, the non-wings and the wings here on Friday, and then again, non-wings and wings are going to be at um, Tulare on the Saturday. So it's a big week in the Valley uh, for that kind of stuff. Again, um, long-range forecast, um, we're still going to get more rain apparently. So, um, you know, everything's just a hope and see, I guess. Uh, you know, if you if you believe in, in the, the guy telling the, the, the weather forecast on the news, um, we could be in trouble. But honestly, I don't think they know as much as what we do anyway usually. So, we just have to wait and see and, and see how it all plays out. No doubt. And then April fires off with the Anthony Simone Classic. That'll be on the 8th. That'll be the yes. NARC 410 Sprint Series in town. Um, that that race last year was a, a magnificent event. Yeah, um, it was. Because it, it was at the end of the year last year. And it, only because it got, you know, again, uh, Mother Nature stepped in um, and the winds were 35 mile an hour here at the track. And, um, we had to cancel because of that. So um, it, it, some things happened like that, unfortunately, but we did get to bring it on at the end of the year, and it was a really good race at the end of the year. Um, the only thing that we didn't do was, you know, being Anthony Simone the first year, it was a, a winged race at the start. Then, you know, the second half of the race, there was a, um, a non-winged portion um, because, you know, he would be that way. He would run both classes. So mm-hmm. um, I do believe that that's going to happen again this year. Um, so, and, and again, it's not a, it's not a big race for the non-wings, and, and it's only if, if you want to do it, you can, you know, you. But wherever you finish in the first one, you invert ten and, and go again for the for the non-wing portion of it. So we'll see what happens. It, it was it was a pretty good time the first time, and um, even like last year, though it was just a good race. And um, Anthony Simone's just his legacy was um, was very apparent, um, you know, and he's had family members here, and and it was just good. Yeah, no doubt. It was, it was a very special race last year. April 22nd, it may not be a wing 410 race, but the USAC CRA back in town, I think it's their second and final visit at Kings uh, for this year with the Spanky Matthews Memorial. Yeah, no, no. Um, again, uh, trying, to, trying to, you know, again, we, had, we have so many dates that we're allowed to race, and then it was trying to coordinate with other people um, and like USAC CRA to get them in their deal. You know, they've got a lot of people wanting them in different places and um and that's as best as, as we could come up with is just to have them twice um i really enjoy non-wings so um if i could have them more i would but um that's just how it's all worked out and, and we're happy to have them obviously well may is a special month for you because it's the peter murphy classic the double header on the 12th and 13th and it'll be a double header with the narc 410 sprint series that is that is an event i'm really looking forward to to seeing 
Yeah, no, um, this year is the first time it's ever going to be at, at, at the one place for two nights. I, obviously, it's been at Tulare for two nights before, um, but this is it is my race and this is my place. So um, um, we're going to see what we can come up with to make it pretty exciting. Um, you know, on the on the Saturday, we want to, um, you know, have a, a you know, a, a deal out, out in the midway to where, you know, there's breakfast and there's things and there's a car show and the all sorts of different things like that, just to sort of entertain the people that are staying here and everything. Um, so, and that's just that part of it, let alone talking about the racing. The 410s are going to run both days. The 360s at this point are going to run on the Saturday. Um, so it, it should be a good deal. You know, 11,000 a win for the 410s. Um, and um, I just think it, it'll be good. It'll be good. Just the things that we can do and, and, and make happen at, staying at the one place here this year just just again something different we'll see what we can do and what's really cool in june is you're going to be having a couple of fair races including 360 sprints on the 17th yeah um so we got a, a the three f fives are going to run both days stock cars are going to run both days um and then the 360 is only going to run on the, on the saturday but um again people don't understand why we you know don't run them on both days is the fact we we don't want to go against um out of respect you don't you don't put a 360 show on against the guys at Watsonville um because it, you know we just got to be the, the right word is respectful for the other people and they've got their schedule and they've always ran there this was a race that was put on um the fair has moved weeks from where it was to where it is now with the new management um and they asked if we could do two races and and um so that's what we're going to do um you know we're going to do it that way and and it'll be, like I said, a two-day show for the 305s, a two-day show for the stock cars, and then um, it'll finish off with the, the 360s coming in, and, and we'll have, a, hopefully, a, a really good show for them as well. Well, and speaking of 360s, they're kind of the primer of the, the before the outlaws, kind of the calm before yep. the storm. September 14th, it's a, it's a great time for sprint car fans to watch some multiple days of racing for Kings before the Tom Tarleton Classic when the World of Outlaws Sprint Car Series shows up on Friday the 15th of September. Yeah, no, um, that, that's a, another goal, um, is to you know, to make a good event there, um, and to give them something to run for. You know, hopefully we come up with a. Uh, we're still looking for a sponsor for that to make it a little bit better than normal, but um, it's a long way to go before we get to that point. So we we'll keep chasing that. But um, again, there's going to be people camped out here during the week. Give them something to do, but then to give our our cars uh, some racing on the on the track the day before, um. And, and just, yeah, it should be good, I think. It, it was good last year, um, so we're just trying to do it again. Yeah, the Tom Tarleton Classic last year was phenomenal. Between It looked like it was a sure shoe-in, like how the race was going to finish, and sure enough, like there were some late-race spectacular moves. Yeah, there was. Um, it was, um, you know, uh, it was very exciting, let's put it that way. Um, sure. <laughs> probably not the way some people wanted it, but it turned out, you know, so it was just... Um, it was very exciting, very entertaining, and um, yeah, and the crowd uh, voiced their their either their, their happiness or their just unhappiness about who won, yeah. basically. But it was, it was it was definitely fun. And the month of September closes out with a couple of great races. The SCCT will be in town on Friday for the Cotton Classic on September 29th, and then September 30th, the NARC 410 Sprint Series back in town for the Maury Williams Memorial. Two iconic races in the Central Valley. Yeah, no, it's um, it's definitely uh, you know, they they obviously the Cotton Classic has been a big thing for many years now. Um. And to have SCCT part of that, this is, um, you know, they've been a part of it the last couple. And to have them be here, uh, we're pretty tickled about that as well. But then the next day, being the Murray Williams, I think this is his third year now um, with, again, a different format. Um, it, it's been exciting every year. So, um, you know, uh, who knows what we can come up with this year to make it any better than it has been. But um, we, we'll just have to wait and see. But, again, Murray Williams is a... He was a big part of my life. Um, I got to, the reason I came to California was because I met him through Sonny Kratzer um, at Knoxville in uh, I think '97, and um, and I was out here with him, and and you know I'm here because of him basically, and it was uh, it only seems right to have a race on him his his name as well. Yeah, and the whole year closes out on October 13th, Breast, Breast Cancer Awareness Night to benefit Adventist Health of Hanford. That's a special night for a special cause. 
Yeah, no, um, I think it, it's um, breast cancer awareness has always been big for me. Um, I've always had a pink car in the month of October. Um, because we've changed the dates of when the Cotton Classic and the Murray Williams is, we've moved it forward a week um, to help out with um, Chico. They were having a problem and they asked, could we switch? And I said, we can switch and we'll have a go. So hopefully that they, they have a good race on and then we'll have our, our um, breast cancer awareness night um, and uh, hopefully we'll raise money again for that, that deal there, which um, I think the first year we, we were just on 2000 and then last year we, were, we got up to 4000 to give back to and we give it back to the people here in the town. Like it's not so we can go to a, a corporate spot somewhere else. It goes to the people in the town. So it's um, it's a uh, it's a good thing to do. That's completely awesome. And and for folks that want to follow along for the latest news, perhaps weather updates, what uh, what are the best locations that they can find that information? Yeah, obviously, um, our Facebook. Um, we are on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Um, we're all got all these things happening anymore, and they seem to be pretty going pretty well um then obviously the website as well awesome well i'm looking forward to seeing all these races uh at hanford in 2023 i think it's going to be a killer year because there's always great racing every time i went there and i'm looking forward to that streak continuing yeah um, again we just hope that everything goes in the right direction and and we do as, as good a job as we can to make it right for as many people as we can and and I think if we do, then everything will should work out good. So uh, Awesome. <laughs> we'll be seeing you soon, Peter. No worries. Thank you very much. Hey, guys. Thanks for listening to this latest episode of Getting Up to Speed with me, Ben Dethridge. We hope you enjoyed this program. We hope also that you hit the subscribe button and the like button as that really helps things out, spreads things out. Be sure and share as well on social media so that more people can listen to these great interviews and from these great drivers. Getting Up to Speed is a production of High Side Racing Promotions. For more information, you can check it all out on Facebook at High Side Promotions.